Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I decided I wanted to talk a lot more about my sexuality and who I am as a person. The reason I decided I wanted to do this video is because I get a lot of um, questions on my social media platforms about it. Also, before I get on with more of this, I do want to point out that I do realize how trashy the audio and the video quality are. However, my computer does not want to work. We we'll have to get it replaced and therefore I can't really edit my videos so I can't use a camera to record so we're just gonna have to deal with the phone quality for right now which is why I haven't uploaded in a while my bad but yeah so the first thing I want to get on to is who I am as a person so a lot of people ask me who I am and how I describe myself and you know my gender and what I identify as and so I just want to clear some of this up real quick I describe myself as a human or an alien either or I feel like a lot of people are confused about me because of what I choose to wear so I want to show you what I'm wearing right now so this is an outfit just randomly in my closet and like, a lot of people look at me and go, he looks feminine, he must be trans. <laughs> How do we describe this? Just because someone chooses to wear girl clothes does not make them a girl. If you're trans, that's one thing. Like. I know, personally, trans females that like to wear boy clothes. And I know trans men that like to wear girl clothes. The reason why is because we're not sexist. We're not looking at a pink shirt and going, that's for girls. We're looking at a pink shirt and going, do I want to buy that shit? Like, we're not over here like, um... We think boys can wear nails. We, we think boys can have their nails done. We think girls can go to work. Like, we're not sexist. We're not like, A, you do this, and A, you do this, and you cannot do this. Like, boys can play with Barbies. Girls can play with t cars. Like, that's how we think. Like, growing up, my parents never put a line in between what we can do. So, if I wanted a Barbie for Christmas, I was getting a Barbie for Christmas. Like, we never had, um, oh, you're a boy, so you can only play with these toys. And, oh, you're, you're a girl, you can only play with these toys. No, it's all a toy. No matter what is on it, or what company it comes from, or what's on the commercials, it's a toy. And if we wanted that toy, we were getting that toy. It was... The whole concept of sexism and all that, and that's how it comes to play. So instead of being like, I want a Barbie, and my dad slapping me and being like, no, you're a boy, you play with these fucking toys. My dad was like, I, let me add that to the Christmas list. Like, I truly don't understand. Like, it's not the toys that are making us gay. Nothing is making us gay. The water is not making us gay. Your food isn't making us gay. Your religion isn't making us gay. Nothing is making us gay. We just are gay. We're just pans and trans and bi and asexual and homosexual. We're just all these sexualities. Not because of you. Not because of that. Because that's just who we are. That's just us. Another thing that people ask me a lot is what I identify as. And this is pretty simple. I mean, I don't identify as anything in particular. I mean, you can call me a boy, you can call me a girl, but when someone asks me who I am, I'm gonna say me. I'm a, I'm Austin. I'm Tyler. You can call me whatever you want. Just don't call me Bob or I'll freaking punch you in your throat and you won't be able to breathe for the next five minutes. You'll probably pass out and die. Okay, I'm just saying, don't call me fucking Bob, Sarah. Sarah, looking at you, B. Next, this video is taking a little bit. 
bit longer than I thought it would. Um, the next thing I get asked is how I feel about all the people that are homophobic and transphobic and all that. And the honest truth is me personally, you can believe what you want to believe as long as you're not harming me or anyone in like anyone who is living then I don't care you have your opinion you're entitled to your opinion it I mean it's just your, your freedom of speech as long as you're not physically harming me or anyone else I do not care about what you think I don't care if you're homophobic I don't care if you're transphobic I don't care that is your opinion but when you start bringing other people into it and fighting other people and harming other people that's when i get pissed what we do in our lives is not entitled to you what we do in our lives is what we do it does not affect you in any way when we're gay and we're getting married why do you care if we're getting married like that's us that's what we're doing what the fuck are you doing why do you fucking care like it's our life we and then like when a trans woman is ready to get the surgery to become a woman why do you care that they're chopping off a penis that literally means nothing to them that's literally making them depressed and making them feel out of body and not right they're taking care of something to make them feel better about themselves to be who they are and who they are on the inside to make their inside match with their outside and make how they feel match with their body and be comfortable in their body i mean it, it's all the same thing like a lot of people <laughs> oh my god let's talk about religion let's bring religion into it a lot of people like in the bible it says not to do surgeries or anything like tattoos or anything because it's staining our body but if so many people didn't get these surgeries they would die so like why so like if someone's getting a heart transplant it's a I you know to have the surgery but if someone's just like, removing something that's not even not even relevant it's bad like, that's just ignorance and extremely rude. And that's just about someone not really caring and not really taking the time to try to understand. They just see something that they think is wrong and they think it's okay to put their two cents in. Well, guess what, bitch? You to put your two cents in next to me, bitch. I'll fucking shove your two front teeth on your fucking throat and you're gonna be what I wanna hit but no bitch you're gonna want your two front teeth bitch tell you fucking shut up bitch oh but no it does not agitate me when um other people are homophobic it agitates me when they physically harm someone because of their sexuality or they call someone a name and they like verbally abuse someone for their sexuality or who they are on the inside so that's more so when I get agitated, not when they are, and that, like that's just your opinion. That's just you being um, inconsiderate and selfish. And selfish. And selfish. So that's basically it. I mean, it's this is kind of a boring video, honestly. But if you did stick to the end, thank you so fucking much. Make comment down below. Comment down below. Uh, heart eyes emoji. Comment down below, uh, no, 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 no. Comment down below a unicorn or a heart eyes emoji or both. Down below. And I'm going to be liking the comments if it's a unicorn or a heart eyes emoji. Because I like those emojis. Those emojis are lit. Make sure you do that and comment those below because I want to see if anyone actually stayed to to the end because, you know you're true i don't know what i'm gonna call you but if you also if you have any suggestions of what i should call you you should comment that below down below too so i can just get a gist of what i'm supposed to be calling you guys 
Um, um, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't, that's cool. You can give it a thumbs down. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to get a notification every single time I post a new video. And make sure you share this video on Twitter, um, Instagram, all the social medias. And make sure you tag me. All of my social medias will be in the description link below. And, um, I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. I forgot I wasn't, I'm not editing this, so I'm going to have to get up close and personal and turn this off. <laughs> hey. <laughs>